What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I want to talk about the disaster, which has yet to turn around, but EA, the developers of Battlefield 2042, are still trying to think of ways that they could maybe pull this out of the fire. Is it too late? I don't know. But apparently, Battlefield 2042, or at least Battlefield Portal, maybe not the entire game, but part of it, will be free, possibly, in the near future. Now, the question is, will this actually save Battlefield? Will it save Battlefield 2042? And does anybody care anymore? Maybe. But before we go into more detail about that, I want to talk about today's sponsor. As you all know, I was previously sponsored by Rogue Publishing to promote their game jam called Rogue Jam, where you could submit your game and potentially win up to $500,000 and a publishing deal with Rogue Publishing. Well, that game jam has now concluded, and it is time for the audience choice awards where you all get to go and vote on the games that were submitted and make the decision of who you think deserves to win the prize. It's really cool to see all of the games that were submitted. Many of the games that actually got into this list were made by you all, our viewers. That is absolutely incredible. And I'm really proud of all of the things that everybody created for this game jam. Personally, I am voting for Worlds of the Future. I think it looks like a really incredible game made by some incredibly talented people, but who you choose to win is entirely up to you. So click the link down in the description, go look at all of the games that were submitted to this game jam, and go choose who you think the winners can be. But with all that said, let's talk about Battlefield, and whether being free is something that could save this game. Quite frankly, I'm somewhat on the fence. I do love Battlefield, and while Battlefield 2042 largely was an absolute dumpster fire, I think that if EA could play their cards right, they could still potentially pull something out of this that would vaguely resemble a win. I think that Battlefield Portal was absolutely the best part of Battlefield 2042, and if they truly do plan on making that free, that would be the best thing they could do. Now, the question is, is the best thing they could do enough? And I think that is a big problem. First off, Battlefield Portal is fun, but is it as much of a sandbox or a powerful creative tool as Arma's editor, or even many other games that are tactical shooters that have way, way better creator tools? And in addition to that, there are lots of other games as well that are completely free. Warzone, for instance, and even our own game, OHD, will be free on launch. Free is the new meta, and I feel like EA is really playing catch-up when it comes to being progressive about their business models and mentalities around their game. And it could be that for Battlefield 2042, announcing a free version of Battlefield or even of Battlefield 2042 could be too little too late. The hype is gone, and even if they were to fix this game at this point, they may have burned so many bridges and destroyed so much trust with their loyal fan base that I'm not sure how many people would even want to give them another chance, even if there was a free game of Battlefield on the market. There are so many other free alternatives nowadays, and it's becoming harder and harder, I think, for anyone to really justify giving a studio like EA another chance when they have such a strong track record of being dishonest with their fans about how they're going to be updating their game, how they're going to be committing to content that they never really release for games that they sell with a promise of continuing to keep it updated 
and having a longer lifespan than it ultimately has. Battlefield 5 is a perfect example of this, something that had a very strong live service feature advertised for it that they ultimately abandoned. If they were to announce something that was completely for free, would they actually follow through and give it the quality of life updates over time that it would deserve, or would it be like many other free-to-play games, <laughs> Ubisoft, that get released with lots of microtransactions and expectations for people purchasing battle passes, and then the games are ultimately completely abandoned, in some cases being entirely shut down and never playable again. Battlefield Play for Free is a perfect example of this. When they created the free versions of Battlefield that were available previously, even like Battlefield Heroes, it was alive for a little while and some of them were even great games, but then they were completely shut down and to this day, unless you use some kind of community hack, you'll never be able to play those games or experience that again. So I have to say, while it would be cool to see a free version of Battlefield 2042, I am very skeptical if it would actually re-earn the trust of the Battlefield fans. So besides that, thanks so much for watching. If you guys want to keep up to date with free games and tactical shooters and other things in the shooter development space, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, go to Rogue and vote for your favorite game and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.